Pressed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. I guess I I gotta yell. Hold fire! I fire! But maybe, maybe that's my problem. All right, we're going to dungeon. We're going to dungeon because quest element two. Um. Voice of the past, enter the catacombs. Dalton, a retired adventurer to Copper Lane, has been hearing voices of Riona, his lover and comrade, who died at the side almost 60 years ago. Catacombs are beneath the city, so let's do it. But we got, we got dunked good. We dunked that shit. Skin flint? No, I don't want to talk to Skin Flint. I don't know what that is. Or what type of name that is. I probably should turn this off because. Eh, no, it's audio is better for you guys. Anyways, so, um. This is Pillars of Eternity. It's a fucking awesome game. Especially when getting into the, the storyline. Um. All right, as you approach the dead man, you can feel the faint traces of his soul lingering. It's stunning uncertainty holding it in place. When you are near, without warning, the soul hurries towards you as though you were a solitary light in the dank gloom of this place. I come to usher its way. Its essence invades your consciousness. You are in a different body now. Walking deeper into the catacombs, cloaked in a dark robe with a mask pulled over your face, you are following a sim familiar path along a canal, heading to a room built around a statue of a figure Wearing a war robe, much like yours. I'll just wait. Clothing hoods. <sighs> Ahead is another figure dressed like you, traveling the same direction. You don't know his name. You don't know how. And then that's how it's supposed to be. Out of the darkness, something monstrous grabs the other figure. You turn to flee, but find yourself face to face with a troll. Panic pounds your brain. It's just, it. It's a bit. Okay, so you kill. You snap yourself out of the dead man's memory. The corpse lies in a damp group. Okay, so it's trolls. Um, yeah, I haven't sunset. that. Uh, you really are what you're aren't you? Once in a great many generations, one of the people is born with the ability to speak to souls. Usually such individuals become elders or are lone sets of tracks in the snow. I would have thought my journey would have been easier if I could see what you... See? Look at you. I'm not so sure. Um, my gift is a curse. Abilities are a blessing. Neither is a curse. I'm gonna be a bitch. You're nosy. <laughs> Everyone's like now talking about how I go into trances. Fuck these assholes. Alright. Yeah, this game is really fun, and um, there's two of them, and alright, so this game, 100% backed by, like, uh, what was it called, Kickstarter, 77,000 Kickstarters, uh, or individuals, contributed individually, 77,000 people, fucking dope, right? Anyways, so they have a book, they have this game, it's awesome, however... If you try to buy it on your Nintendo Switch, don't do it. Look at all the reviews. Majority of people say it's broken. Also, the company itself was going to do 1 and 2. Uh, Pillars of Eternity 1 and 2 were going to be on, on the Switch. They canceled number 2 after hearing back and not being able to fix the problems with Nintendo Switch. Alright, second thing. If you got a tablet or a really awesome laptop that turns into a tablet or some shit like that where it's like doesn't have a GPU, doesn't have good thermals, um, don't buy this game. This game is made for for very powerful CPUs. Very, basically, it, it's not optimized well, is the problem. Um, 
I'm pretty sure the developers have even admitted to that. Um, it, it, they want to just, for some reason, take 100% of your CPU. So, um, my CPU is a tank, though. So, let's just see how this is. Uh, da, 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 da. This game is awesome, though. And the storylines are insane. All right. Lesser Black Ooze. Uh, yeah. Grave does oh, shit. I got real Black Ooze. No. No. Oh, my God. Stop. I've never seen that before. All right. Let's, um. No. What? Alright, so, um, Pillars of Eternity 2 is a lot of fun. They made it, like, where you can play it as a turn-based game instead of it being, like, pause, stop, like I have. Grave does the last Lava will be on seat! Lava will be on seat! What the fuck is that thing? Ah! Lava be on Random ass troll. What are you doing this year? Jesus. Anyways, um, the second was a lot of fun. I, I played that game um, when it came out before I started streaming. I highly encourage y'all to give it a shot. Of course. Um, Gonna I'm gonna stream it later, but um, probably after I take a break from streaming for a week. If anyone's wondering what these things are that you can click on, it is. Um, the backers that have the that played this game. Yep. Little funny doodads or storylines. It's also a book, yep. It's also a card game, which I recently learned from uh, Reddit, but... Come on, come on. All right, so Black Ooze, let's go. Um, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Wait. You're not getting. What? Skeletal Fighter. Fighter. Leave it to me. Chill out, bro. 
All right then. Shit! Hello, Gothine. Lone figure is tattered robes shuffles across the chamber, muttering under his breath as you approach the figure halts and shuffles his head towards you. Haggard visage is a labyrinth of wrinkles and sores overgrown by moss like beard. Who deserves Helig's work? Oh shit. He leans back and bursts into a rested lab. His threadbare robes drift apart, revealing an amulet. Ragged whack. Wound running from chest to throat, it spatters black. Ugh. That old fool is still alive. I do hope he doesn't bear a grudge for that incident. It was very long ago. Oh, you would say that if you were to retrieve your grimoire from Madrid, I'd let you in on the secret. When Anthony started gaining popularity, I came to find Spade to hope, in hopes of finding a place where my research would meet with more acceptance. Worked a, at the sanatorium for a few months when I met Modred, spits a gob of black blood on the floor. I said, Modred and I don't see eye to eye. Got so bad we were threatening to kill each other on a daily basis. Obviously, that bastard made good on his threat. Sank a dagger in my chest while I was sleeping and dumped my body in the catacombs. <sighs> I preserve my mind and my memories with Anguin magic and a few timely preparations. Yet my now, now my soul is anchored to this decaying husk. Modred stole a life from me, left me with the wrecked corpse and this, and this craving. Clutches stomach and glances at you hungrily, only for a second. Morgan keeps all this precious to him in a trunk in his laboratory, just as you stole my grimoire. On your way to Grimoire's uh, sanctuary, then. Bring me my grimoire and my revenge, and you can have my Ryona. Research has been... I have a piece to quite abundant supply of subjects.
this. And... How may I help? A small arm of men appears to have pulled together some crates and scrap of cloth. Rather a sore looking a little camp, thick fur on his limbs is matted, his cloth smeared black and grimy, he looks sterile as you Hello! Hello there, I wasn't expecting any visitors down here in these parts. I've been down a little more. Luckily, I didn't get anywhere to stay, so I thought I'd come down here and done for Hard for me here in divine space. I suppose I thought I'd gotten involved in city business. If I made right friends, I could be easier in time. It did really. I made myself a name for place. Pretty actually, listen to everyone talk. Well, they used to. People can get very passionate about these things. We were discussing. I think I was shipping agreements for all the things to fight over. But <coughs> this one night, this man, he he got very angry. I think he made a little too much at the end, and I guess he didn't like it. And talking back to him, I struck him. Gave toward came towards me. I hit him. Oh, he went over like a tree. I guess I struck him in the head on the way down. Turns out he's a knight. Crucible knights don't care how it happened. They just want me to be gone. They won't let me leave. Live long enough to see the rope, please. So they said, please. I just want to get out in a second. I get the money for passage. Okay, so. Um, uh, sorry, I don't know their names. Da -da 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 -da.
Jesus, do you remember your dear, your first deliverance when you strangled your first what wrong dear? Did you see the moment when the life became death? Did you see the instance where your victim realized that Wudika forgets nothing? When Wudika takes back her throne, will you face her with pride, knowing you held your own oaths, or will you be amongst the word breakers? Wudika teaches vengeance, memory. While she's in ex exile, you must be, we must be her, her eyes, ears. Let not injustice slip from the record. We must be clenched first with the silence that uh, silence the breath. When Rudika takes back her throne, all the injustices that have slipped through the cracks of history will be righted. The villain hiding in plain sight among them, and soon will feel the burned queen's choking grass. Pray that blah, 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 blah. But know, my sisters, that we must be ready to end the day, to see the end of our days without the return of a queen. For she will take back her throne, but maybe our daughters have served the restored court. We must continue to live as we've always lived. Hated by the other face, even though we pr place justice above our own well-being. At least the Emperor of Eder still holds our creed. Proper esteem it is proper sign of respect that by imperial custom our clergy must oversee a contract that is be legally binding for those who don't understand the blessing, blah, 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 steel garret. When it takes like zero. Okay, so this person is a crazy motherfucker. Well, that's Wudika, so Wudika's crazy. Yeah. Uh. Woo! Sorry about that. I can do that. That's a boot. That's a boot. <laughs> Leave it to me! <laughs> Following your lead. Leave it to me! Of course. Movement, stain reduction, 